Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Didio has resurfaced of Taylor Swift's ex Maddie Healy telling Liam and Noel Gallagher to get back together as it has emerged that an Oasis reunion could now definitely be on the cards. The 1975 singer, 35, spoke in February 2023 to CBC News about how the former bandmates should grow up and headline Glastonbury. After Maddie waited in on them reuniting, him and Noel, 57, sparked a feud themselves, with the pair then exchanging brutal words over each other's music. Over the weekend Oasis fueled speculation that they might reunite for a long-awaited comeback, despite brothers Liam and Noel's well-documented estrangement. Fans have been going wild over new reports that the pair will bury the hatchet for the Glastonbury headline slot next summer, as well as 10 gigs at Wembley in 2025. And now the Maddie video has resurfaced as a reunion seems on the cards finally, with fans speculating if the clip was the final straw that embarrassed the band into getting back together. Maddie said in the clip, what are Oasis doing? Can you imagine being in potentially the coolest band in the world, and not doing it because you're in a mard with your brother? I can deal with them dressing like they're in their 20s and being in their 50s, but acting like they're in their 20s. They need to grow up. Stop marting. They're men of the people and they're sat around in Little Venice and Highgate, crying over an argument with their brother. Grow up. Headline Glastonbury. There is not one person going to a High Flying Birds gig or a Liam Gallagher gig that wouldn't rather be at an Oasis gig. Do me a favor, get back together and stop messing around, that's my public service announcement for today. Noel wasn't happy with Maddie waiting in on the Oasis debate in his CBC interview, and it ended up sparking a feud. In response to the interview Noel retorted by calling the 1975 frontman a slack jot f asterisk asterisk quit. The don't look back and anger singer continued, he would never be able to imagine it. He needs to go over how s asterisk 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 his band is and split up. Then last June Maddie said on stage at a Dublin gig in response, Noel Gallagher called me a slack jot f asterisk asterisk quit. I love Noel Gallagher. We asked Liam to open up and he said he would have done it, but he was busy. I love Noel Gallagher. Give it up for Noel Gallagher. Continuing with a chuckle, Maddie said, the difference between me and Noel is I do a series of interviews to promote an album, whereas he does an album to promote a series of interviews. But we love you Noel, get Oasis back together. The clip of Maddie on CBC News has begun doing the rounds again on X after the reunion rumors went into overdrive on the weekend. Sharing the clip they penned, thank you Maddie Healy, lol, grow up, headline Glastonbury. Bringing this gem back following today's Oasis rumor, everyone say thank you Maddie Healy, Maddie Healy ending brotherly feuds since 2023. It comes as Liam dedicated the Oasis track Half the World Away to his estranged brother Noel during his headline set at the Reading Festival on Sunday evening after burying the hatchet during a late-night phone call. Earlier in the day, the Mancunian rocker fueled speculation he might reunite with Noel for a long-awaited Oasis comeback, despite their well-documented estrangement. Fans have urged the pair to regroup since their explosive split in 2009, which was sparked by a backstage brawl at the Rock and Seine Festival in Paris. During his headline slot at Reading on Sunday night, Liam, 51, performed a number of Oasis hits from their debut album Definitely Maybe to celebrate its 30th anniversary. Introducing Half the World Away, a 1994 B-side that also featured as the theme tune to sitcom The Royal Family, he told Revelers, I want to dedicate this song to Noel F. Asterisk Asterisk King Gallagher. Liam continued to keep fans guessing by dedicating his rendition of Cigarettes Alcohol at the Reading Festival to people who hate Oasis. The track, written by his older brother, was the final single on their 1994 debut album, Definitely Maybe. As he closed the set, Liam suggested an announcement could be made on Tuesday at 8 a.m. A short clip of a sign in the style of Oasis logo was projected on a large screen above the stage and subsequently shared to Oasis. Noel and Liam's official Instagram and X accounts. The white rectangular box, which a black bee.